Hello everyone this is S Divya from Biotechnica and today I'm going to give you some insights regarding unit 4 from CSAR syllabus some important topics as well as the reference books which you should focus on whenever you prepare for unit 4 so unit 4 is cellular communication and cell signaling so let's have a look into the syllabus first so the syllabus is divided into five subunits. Subunit 4A, host parasite interaction. B, cell signaling. C, cellular communication. D, cancer. And E is immunology. So among these five subunits, the most important units are B, C, D, E. These are not only important yet scorable as well. And these Subunits should never ever be skipped if you are preparing for CSAR net exam. So I will come into details regarding the important topics from each subunits. Before going to that, let me show you the number of questions you can expect from each of the subunit. So here I have mentioned maximum. So that means plus or minus one or two can be expected in every exam. So 4A, even though it is a least important topic or least important subunit, you can expect a maximum of two questions, but majority of times you get one part C question and that two in the form of match the following. So since it is dealing with diseases and all, so always expect one part C questions from here. When it comes to 5, 4B, you can expect a maximum of 5 questions. So it could be 3 part B question or 2 part C. It could be the other way around as well. When it comes to cellular communication, you can expect 4 questions a maximum. Sometimes they can stick only to 3 questions. Maybe 2 part C questions and 1 part B question. When it comes to 4D that is related to cancer, uh, apoptosis is a topic from where you can expect the question. Sometimes it is also skipped. So apoptosis is optional but if they are asking question from here majority of times part C based questions have come. Apart from that experimental questions are expected from here, techniques related questions are expected from here. Combined with other topics from your uh, life science syllabus, we can expect questions. So, statement based questions majority of times you can expect from here. Then we have the last subunit immunology. Now, even though this is the uh, important subunit, one of the important subunit from unit 4, but still I have given maximum two questions. The reason is that nowadays the pattern of questions are getting changed for immunology. You are no more getting the direct kind of questions that is very rare nowadays. So majority of times you can find it is combined with cancer or it, it is combined with techniques. Okay, so basically uh, combining two topics, the questions come from immunology. So it's hardly difficult to predict whether you can keep it in the form of uh, uh, immunology exclusively or it is in combination with other subunits. Other subunits in the sense from other units. Okay. Now let's have a look into the important topics from each of this subunit. As you can see the green color one indicates the most important yellow medium important and the blue is the least important. So to begin with we have the first subunit host parasite interaction. As I told you initially it is related to diseases. So it could be bacterial disease, viral disease, their causative agents, pathogens and their host. So majority of times you can see match the following kind of questions. Four marks questions do come from here. One. Then uh, we are having the second which is the most important subunit from unit 4 that is cell signaling. And from here the largest family of proteins GPCR is a very important topic. Always questions do come from this part. Not only that even 
certain toxins related to GPCR is also being asked in the exam. Apart from GPCR, you can expect questions from RTK, that is tyrosine kinase. Then we have JAK-STAT pathway. Also, you can expect uh, match the following kind of questions based upon second messengers, based upon ligands and based upon effector proteins. Moving on to the third subunit, we have cellular communication part. So, components of ECM is very important. Apart from that, you might be aware, this particular uh, topic, we can say, is divided into cell to cell and cell to matrix interaction. So, questions do come from here. Apart from that, cell adhesion molecules. Majority of times, in this case also, match the following questions do come. Experimental had come once upon a time, but nowadays uh, I have seen mostly match the following kind of questions or two marks questions. That will be a direct question. Then the uh, fourth subunit is cancer. As you can see, one small topic is apoptosis. Sometimes they ask, sometimes they skip. But even if they are not asking or if they are asking, you can expect Question that will be carrying four marks. Okay. Then important topics include the differences between oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes along with their examples. Then how a proto-oncogene is getting converted into an oncogene. Again examples. Then how cell cycle is related to cancer. Viruses related to cancer match the following questions can be expected but that is not so important but yes you should not skip. Once upon a time the uh, comparison of cancer cells to that of a normal cells used to be asked frequently but nowadays the frequency is reduced but you should not skip this part as well. And lastly we have immunology part as I told you quite unpredictable unit from unit 4 and uh, the thing is that you have to be very clear with the basics. So unless and until you know about the basics, it becomes difficult for you to solve any question. So be clear with the basics from here and most of the times experimental questions are applied so that will be a kind of conceptual check kind of questions. So you can skip this uh, part like diseases related because anyways you are covering it over here, right? In case if you are covering, otherwise you can skip it. And the last part is the reference book. First one is Lodish. Second one is uh, Albert's. Third is Carp. And for immunology, we are having QB. So that's all from my side today. Thank you.